Hi guys and welcome back to another Doctor Ace video and today we're going to be playing MotoGP 22 and today I'm going to be giving you another track breakdown in one of the most difficult circuits, the Circuit of the Americas and we're going to be using the MotoGP Academy game mode to break things down from the first sector, the second, the third and the fourth and then finally complete a full clean lap and give you the best tips and guidance and advice I could possibly can give you to help you replicate what I'm going to do in this video. So the first sector, very tough, very, very tough sector. So we're going to do it four times just so you can see. This first one is just a bit of a bit of a banker lap just to get used to things, just to get the feeling of the Yamaha. And now we'll properly go into it. So starting off the first sector, you're going to be carrying a lot of speed up into the uphill section of the braking markers, braking near the rumble strip, a lot of front brake and a lot of rear brake. But do not be slamming on the anchors for the front brake because you're going to endo and that is the exact opposite of what you want but into the right hand side for turn two just correct yourself ever so slightly so you don't go onto the rumble strip the rumble strip is rather treacherous there so bring it into turn three aim for the middle of these chicanes if you aim for the rumble strip or if you aim beyond it you're probably going to make a mistake so you've got to try and prepare yourself for the next corner or the next uh, flicker direction by aiming through it rather than just in it so up into the first corner once again, keep an eye on the right hand side of your screen, there's a massive shadow there from the lamp post. you could use that as a bit of a guidance, I do recommend braking before the shadow is there, and of course if you are playing at this time of day, of course which will be because it's more GP Academy, that is the spot you can use. So now going to the left hand side, I'm going to move it quite early now and hit, aim to not hit that apex but get very close to the rumble strip to the left hand side there, and then you're going to do the flip flop section. One thing I will not recommend or will I would advise against is to launch the analog stick so do not just flick it left and right you need to be gradually moving it in a controlled manner MotoGP 22 should never have any strong aggressive movements with the left analog stick you need to be very calm very precise and gradually moving rather than just flicking it left and right you've got to be moving with the rider and getting turns three four and five correct is paramount here in the Circuit of the Americas because with not getting this first sector right you'll never provide a good lap time so it's very very important you follow those lines and use the template I've given in today's video. So now into the second sector, nice easy one going into the left hand side for turn 7, get onto the right hand side here for turn 8 and keep it in nice and tight to the rumble strip but do not touch any of these rumble strips, they can be quite treacherous so be very careful of that but to the left hand side for turn 10 going to give you a bit more of a detailed breakdown in just a moment but for now breaking firm before the rumble strip on your right appeared and before it materialized as a full solid rumble strip that's when you need to start breaking if you watch any of my other guides i'll preach and i'll preach again the rumble strips are there to guide you around the circuit and also to use as a breaking marker for specific corners but to the right hand side now keeping it in second gears we'll flick it to the left hand side nice and tight to the apex of turn nine and as you bring on the power and it feels like you're going to get ready to shift up to turn uh, to third gear shift up and chuck it down to the left hand side there get it into that downhill section and keep it on the tarmac do not go on the rumble strip on that part because it it will start to book and weave and it'll start making some horrible shapes so just be very very careful for that particular part but once again turn seven nice easy corner Bring it into the right, keeping in second gear for turn eight. Flick it to the left hand side, nice and tight to the apex without touching the rumble strip. Bring on the third gear, chuck it to the left hand side. Gotta go in nice and early there. Don't forget, guys, the bike needs to be leaning with the rider earlier rather than just turning the last second. This is not a car game, you cannot just turn at the last point. You need to be preparing yourself as the rider leans in. So now into the third split, a relatively easy one to be honest with you, of course, the the only thing you do need to be concerned about is this long straight and being heavy, heavy, heavy on the brakes. Now when I say heavy on the brakes, yes it's going to be a lot of front brake, but you're not going to be just grabbing it with a full force. 80 to 95% at most on the brakes. Maybe 95% is a little bit too much, but if you can balance it with a bit of rear brake and downshift, then you'll be alright. But just be very careful of endoing and trying to do a stop and getting the bike out of shape. It's the complete opposite you want to be doing for a corner like that one. But once again, bringing on the power. Power setting three, everything enabled right now as we're going to look to the right hand side here. Rumble strip just after the Red Bull sign. Begin to start braking. Brake before you get to the rumble strip on the right hand side there. It's crucial. Keep it in nice and tight to the apex. Bring on the power then for turn 13 and brake gradually 
and controlled in for the right hand of a 13. Bring on the power just ever so slightly. Don't want to be just opening full gas because you're going to make a massive mistake on the left hand side there. But now to this left hand side, nice and tight to the apex and get across for the next sector. So one more time, sector three. I'm going to focus on the next parts now. So Red Bull sign, brake well before you see the rumble strips because braking earlier is easier to then adjust to rather than braking too late. You can't save it if you brake too late. If you brake too early, you can go a little bit, a little bit more. So now into turn 13 to the right hand side. Again, gentle control, control, really tight to the apex there and start braking as the bike begins to lean over to the left hand side. One thing I will preach to you is do not give it full amount of brake there. You want to be just gently bringing on the brake for that left hander though. So now into the right hand side for turn 16 for sector four. This one is a bit of a tricky one. It gave me a little bit of trouble and it doesn't usually, but I will say in MotoGP 22, I would advise following my guidance in this one because I found that it gave me a little bit too much trouble than I would have wanted. So as you can see on screen right now, I'm gonna break a little bit too late for the final corner. And as you can see, lost quite a significant amount of time there. Getting across the line, not good enough. So let's talk it through. Sector four to the right hand side then for 16. Keep it into the middle of the circuit. Bring it in a little bit more to the right hand side because it does dip ever so slightly away from you. Keep it in nice and tight to the apex. Begin to line the motorcycle up and then begin to go on the brakes as the bike sits up. As the two wheels are parallel, that's when you can start braking and chucking into the left hand side. Once again for turn 20, a little bit too late on the brakes once again. Nasty habit to get involved with, so we're going to work on it again and make sure we minimise the amount of mistakes going into that final corner. So to the right hand side, 16, keeping it in nice and tight. You can use a bit of trail brake here if you want to, just bring the bike in ever so close as we go really close to the apex there as we now go firm on the brakes for the left hand side. Really tight to the apex once again with Darren Binder. Bring on the power, brake well before the shadow this time. Well before the shadow, nice and controlled, nice and gentle. Bring on the acceleration coming out to turn 20 and that will give you your goal lap time. So one more time, because this is a difficult sector to get right. The entire track is a difficult one, to be quite honest with you. As we now go to the right-hand side, keeping it nice and tight for 18, keeping it tight, bringing on the power. The bike is now straight, it's parallel. You can start breaking in for the 19th corner. Bring on the acceleration, keep an eye on that shadow there. Break well before the shadow, and keep it in nice and tight to the apex of turn 20. I went for a little bit of a wider line, didn't quite work out, so I do recommend the tighter apex over the wider one. So now let's do it together, let's do a complete lap, we're going to do two complete laps here in the Circuit of the Americas, it's a very difficult track, so I'm going to try and reiterate my points in one full clean lap. I'm a person who likes to consistently do it over and over again, rather than just doing it sector by sector, so now we've learned each and every sector individually, it's time to piece it all together. So it's to the left hand side now, turn three. Nice and tight to the apex, went on the rumble strip there, so I'm going to try and fix that for the next time, but really close to each apex, getting it right now, getting the groove, getting the rhythm, it's exactly what we're going to be doing. So turn seven, approaching now, keep it nice and tight to the apex, a little bit too tight, but it's still fine. As we go to the right hand side, keeping it in second gear, a little bit of a wobble there and a slight correction to the left hand side, touching the rumble strip I advised against, so do be very careful of that. Up into third gear, bringing on the power, and then get ready to brake well before we reach the rumble strip on the right hand side there. That was great evidence of showing where you need to be braking for that particular corner. And now bringing on the power. Two medium tyres, power setting three. Make sure you brake before the rumble strip on your right hand side. Red Bull sign now, right hand side there is the rumble strip materialising. Begin to brake, drop it down to first gear. Go really firm on the brakes, but not too firm, of course, as we've mentioned. Balance it, 80, 90% of brake at the maximum. No more than that, because you are going to start endoing and skipping and slipping the tyre like top rack Razgati Oglu. So now to the left-hand side, turn 15. Braking on the angle, but with a gentle and controlled amount of front brake. Gets us into the 15th corner. And now for the somewhat treacherous part, turn 16. You'll see that every now and again, maybe just a little bit of front brake, just to... Stop the uh, the gap from extending, just to keep it nice and tight. Braking as the bike gets parallel for the 19th corner. Keep it in nice and strong here. Brake well before the uh, shadow, as we've mentioned. Keeping it nice and tight to the apex for turn 20. Final corner, bring on the power, bring on the acceleration. Across the line, it's a 202-256. But before we end there, let's do one more time. Let's drill it into us. Let's all get this right together. I know I can do a much better lap than what I've produced so far. 
So let's do it together right now. Fine example of pushing quite hard. You will see that, yes, I've gone a little bit aggressive with it, but I'm not trying to teach you guys to be too aggressive with the motorcycle. I want you guys to be smooth and calm under braking, and then you can take it to the next level. But into turn five, turn six, we've got to make sure we get that right. You'll see that I did lose a little bit of time because I went for that sort of aggressive move. As you can see, it's made an effect on us from braking too firm into the first corner to then going into the flip-flop section. It does get a bit messy if you start pushing it a little bit too much. But now to the left-hand side, going to chuck it into third gear, keep it in nice and tight to the apex for the left-hand side, and then bring on the power. Brake well before you see the rumble strip for the right-hand side there. Going to go really strong in the brakes, using a lot of rear brake as well with the Yamaha, just to slow every single wheel down on this motorcycle to get it stopped for a very difficult corner. So now bringing on the power, right hand side of your screen, Red Bull sign, there it is, the braking marker, slamming on the anchors, nice control, you'll see the braking guide in the bottom right corner of your screen, the brakes don't even touch 100%. That's how gentle you have to be on the brakes within MotoGP 22. Nice and smooth acceleration here, keeping it to the right hand side, slowly braking as the bike went parallel here and then started to lean over that's when you can start breaking in. Nice and gentle, nice control. That is exactly what I'm going to try and preach to you in every one of these particular track breakdown guides. And of course, if you're enjoying this one so far, be sure to hit the like button. But to the right hand side then for turn 19, or at least the approaching for the penultimate corner now, to the left hand side we'll go. And then bring you on the power. Make sure to break before that shadow. Nice and tight to the apex for the left hander for turn 20. Bring on the acceleration in a calm, controlled manner, and that will net me a 201.895. And that's it, guys. So I really hope this video has helped you. If it has, let me know in the comments section down below. If you're still struggling and need any more assistance, be sure to join the Ace Academy Discord server, and I'll be sure to help you in there as well. But for now, thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao for now. Oh, hi. Didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Trace content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dot Trace video.